Hello and welcome back everybody. Today on Linux Scoop, we will show you step by step how to install OpenCart with Nginx on a Debian 10 VPS. OpenCart is a free and open source shopping cart system. It is a PHP based platform for creating online stores, delivering all standard e commerce functionalities needed for managing an online shop. OpenCart has free lifetime support, software updates, and is localized in many languages and currencies, making it one of the most popular and widely used self hosted e commerce platforms available. Make sure that you have met the following prerequisites before continuing with this tutorial. You have a Debian 10 VPS with root access or a user with pseudo privileges. You have a fully registered domain name that is set up and pointing to your VPS IP address. For example, in this video tutorial, we will use domain linuxscoop.cc. Step 1. Deploy Debian 10 VPS. Thanks to UpCloud for sponsoring this video. UpCloud is an extremely fast cloud hosting service, very affordable, easy to get started with and provides a lot of value in their different solutions. Also, great for any business that is small or large and as someone who's really trying to start doing some website stuff. Get $50 in credit on your new account by signing up with promo code LINUXSCOOP or use the link in the description. To deploy Debian 10 in UpCloud simple and easy, log into your account. Click the server. Click Deploy Server. Choose the server location. Select Plan. In this tutorial, we will be using the plan $10 per month. On the operating system, select Debian 10. Enter your VPS hostname and description about your VPS. Then click the Deploy button. Now set the reverse DNS name on each of your public IP address at your UpCloud control panel under the Network tab in your server settings. On column, reverse DNS name change with your domain name. And make sure that you have set up an address record for your domain. Step 2. Initial Server Setup Debian 10 Server In this step, we will create a new user account that will add to sudo group and configuring SSH. Now, from your terminal login to Debian 10 Server. After you have logged in, Run the following command to make sure that all installed packages on the Debian 10 server are updated to their latest available versions. Create a new user account. We will give the name Debian. Now, run this command to add the new user to the sudo group. Now that we have our new account, we can secure our server a little bit by modifying its SSH daemon configuration to disallow remote SSH access to the root account. Begin by opening the configuration file with Nanotext Editor. Find the following sections, add and change the information where applicable. Add these lines to the bottom of the document. When you are finished making your changes, save and close by hitting Ctrl O X. Restart the SSH service. Log out from the root session. You can type exit or hit the button Ctrl D. Then log in again using user with pseudo privileges. 
keep stay login on this session. We will continue to install Nginx, PHP, and MariaDB. Step 3. Install Nginx, PHP, and MariaDB. OpenCart requires a web server on which it will serve its content. It is written in PHP and uses a MySQL MariaDB database to store its information. We can install Nginx, MariaDB, PHP, and other PHP modules by running the following command. We can install Nginx, MariaDB, PHP, and other PHP modules by running the following command. Once all the packages are installed, you will need to make some changes in php.ini file and tweak some settings. We will be using sed command for fast replacing php.ini file. Then restart PHP FPM service to apply the configuration changes. Step 4. Configure Nginx for OpenCart. In this step, we will configure Nginx site configuration file for OpenCart. This file will control how users access OpenCart content. Run these commands to create a new configuration file called linuxscoop.cc. We will copy our configuration to this file. All configuration and command in this tutorial can be downloaded from this video description. If you are done, save and close the file. It's recommended to check Nginx syntax errors by typing this command. Next, you should enable the server block by creating a symbolic link to the site's enabled directory. Finally, restart the Nginx and PHP FPM services to apply the configuration changes. Step 5. Configure a OpenCart database. Run the commands that to secure the database server with a root password, if you were not prompted to do so during the installation. Now, log in to MariaDB as root. We will create a database called DB OpenCart. Then, create MariaDB new user account called Open cart user. Set a password and grant access to the database we created. Remember to choose a strong password for your database user. Flush the database so changes can reflect in MariaDB. 
Finally, exit from Maria DB Shell. Step 6. Download and install OpenCart. In this step, we will need to download the latest stable version of the OpenCart source from its official website. Run these commands to download the latest stable release of OpenCart. Once the download is completed, unzip the downloaded file to web server's root directory var www forward slash linux scoop. Run these commands to copy the configuration files for front end and admin. Change the ownership all of OpenCart files to the www data user and group. Now, change permission all directory OpenCart to 755 and change permission all file OpenCart to 644. Step 7. Install and configure. Let's Encrypt SSL Certificate. Let's Encrypt is a free, automated, and open certificate authority developed by the Internet Security Research Group, ISRG, that provides free SSL certificates. We need to install the CertBot package for Nginx called Python 3 CertBot Nginx Package. Now, install dependencies for Python 3 CertBot Nginx Package. Install the Python 3 CertBot Nginx package. Fetch and deploy Let's Encrypt SSL certificate on your domain with these commands. Certificates provided by Let's Encrypt are valid for 90 days only, so you need to renew them often. Now you set up a cron job to check for the certificate, which is due to expire in the next 30 days, and renew it automatically. Add this line at the end of the file. Then save the changes. This cron job will attempt to check for renewing the certificate twice daily. Step 8. Setting up firewall. In this step, we will install UFW package and create rule to allow SSH, HTTP and HTTPS connection. Install UFW. Enable UFW service. Allows SSH connection on port 22500 using the TCP protocol. Allows HTTP connection on port 80. Allows HTTPS connection on port 443. 
Check the status of your rules now by typing. Step 9. Complete OpenCart Setup Now that OpenCart is downloaded and the server configuration is complete, you can finish the installation through the web interface. Open your browser, type your domain, and a screen similar to the following will appear. Read the OpenCart license agreement. Select the language you would like to use and click on the Continue button. Next, you will see the following information page. Make sure all pre-installation requirements are met and click on the Continue button. On the next screen, the setup wizard will ask you to enter your database connection details. Enter the My SQL User and Database details you previously created. Enter a username, password and email address for the administration and start the installation by clicking on the Continue button. Once the installation is completed, you will be taken to a page informing you that OpenCart has been installed. You'll also need to delete the installation directory. To do so, go back to the terminal and type the following command. To access your OpenCart administrative dashboard, click on the Login to your Administration button. Enter your username and password, and you will be redirected to the Administration dashboard. The first time you log in, a pop-up will appear asking you to move the storage directory outside of the web directory. Keep the default Automatically Move option and click on the red Move button. The directory where you are moving the storage directory must be accessible by the web server. back to Terminal and open the configuration files for front end and admin to make sure the path storage directory was added. Now navigate to System, Settings, click Edit, click Tab Server, click Yes on Use SEO URLs, and Use SSL. From here, you can start customizing your OpenCart installation and add new products. That's it! Step-by-step -step how to install OpenCart with Nginx on Debian 10 VPS. Now OpenCart is ready to use. To learn more about how to manage OpenCart, you can visit the OpenCart documentation. If you have any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Also, like, comment, share, and subscribe Linux Scoop YouTube channel for more video. Please consider to support Linux Scoop on Patreon.